At breaking news in downtown Detroit, a man hit and killed by the people mover. Detroit police tell us the man's body was found on the tracks just before 9 o'clock. It happened at the Times Square station. That's on Grand River. Priya Mann is there now live. And Priya, do police know what happened? Well, Sandra, police have just reviewed that surveillance video. Take a look behind me. You can see them up on the platform as we speak. Police say the video shows the man was alone and appeared to be intoxicated. He fell between cars of the people mover and was unable to get back onto the platform. Now, this victim was dragged about 50 yards, and police say it will be a challenge to identify him. Now, the man fell onto the tracks around 8.30 Sunday evening at the Times Square stop near the Rosa Parks bus station. Police say it appears as though the man was stumbling around moments before he fell. The victim tried to regain his balance by leaning on the train when he took a step forward and fell over. Now, there are no cameras inside the people mover, but police believe no one was on the train when this happened. No one got on or off the platform when the victim fell onto the track and was dragged about 50 yards. Now, the people mover is also automated, so when the next train pulled up to this platform, a group of people got off and saw what was left of the body on the tracks. They called police. Police saying they are very upset at this time. We just spoke with them. Here's what they had to say. I don't know if there's anything that could have been done. Uh, we, we looked at it and there's not much room between the cars from the platform. It's that one spot and you know most people would not think to step in that area but if you've been drinking and aren't aware of your surroundings it's a possibility I guess. How are your officers doing? I, mean, I can't imagine that's easy. Work. No, no. The, the, some of the officers are, are uh, pretty tore up right now. Um, they're, it's not something we they see every day and uh, you know we'll do what we can to try to help them through it. Back here live, just a very tragic accident. Police say the people mover will be closed for some time. At this point, they can only identify the man by saying he's a black male, possibly in his 40s. They're working to identify him and to notify the family. The medical examiner will be here shortly. Reporting live from downtown Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, local four. Yeah, uh, Priya, understandably, it sounds like even officers are pretty shaken up. Has anything like this ever happened before involving the people mover? No, Sandra, the People Mover has been around for 28 years. We'll be celebrating its 29th year in just a few months. This has never happened before. Completely unprecedented that you have a person fall off the platform between two cars and then get run over mm -hmm. by the People Mover. A very tragic accident. Police working to identify this victim. Yeah, such a tragic accident indeed. All right, Priya Mann reporting live tonight. Thank you, Priya.